Sustainable Development Goal 15 works to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation, and halt biodiversity loss. Addressing these issues positively affects issues regarding food systems, poverty, and more. Did you know around 1.6 billion people depend on forests for their livelihood? This includes some 70 million indigenous people. SDG 15 is critical for these groups and people and also affects those indirectly connected to the health of the forests and land. There are 12 targets within SDG 15. One of them seeks to combat desertification, restore degraded land and soil, including land affected by desertification, droughts and floods, and strive to achieve a land degradation neutral world. The targets of SDG 15 range in seemingly unrelated topics, but it's important to remember how they all connect together. Montenegro, a country in the Balkans, is known for its beautiful nature, fresh air, and history, making it a popular place for tourism. But tourism has a huge carbon footprint, which risks the long-term health of the area and is bad for long-term economics too. So, in order to maintain their beautiful scenery and welcome people from all over the world, Montenegro introduced carbon neutral tourism. They increased and improved bike paths, partnered with music festivals to make them green, installed solar benches, and created an online carbon calculator to engage tourists in their carbon neutral movement. This is just one example of how states are taking care of their own environment and in turn, supporting their own sustainable development and the larger sustainable development goals. For example, another target seeks to enhance global support for efforts to combat poaching and trafficking of protected species, including by increasing the capacity of local communities to pursue sustainable livelihood opportunities. Both of these targets aim at creating more sustainable, resilient communities, but touch on various ways to secure this goal. So what are the ways the UN and other stakeholders are addressing these targets and issues? This SDG relates to various ecosystems and regions, all of them connected directly or indirectly. 15% of land is protected, but still there are critical areas for biodiversity that are not. Our world can provide us with everything we need to survive, but not with how we're treating it currently. In order for us to create more resilient ways to manage our natural resources and to conserve biodiversity, we must protect and restore key biodiversity regions. We're making positive steps, and from 2000 to 2017, the average worldwide coverage of critical biodiversity areas, such as terrestrial, freshwater, and mountain, by protected sections has increased. But according to the Red List Index, biodiversity loss continues at an alarming rate. So while we're making steps, we must hold ourselves to higher standards so we can keep our one planet in a better condition. Thank you for watching. This has been Nonviolence International New York. To learn more about the SDGs or see related content, check out our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe.